XRP, XLM, XCN, XDC, XTZ, XYO, XCH. We're going to go over that those charts today at a macro scope. We're going to put it under a macro scope and we're going to get, get a feel for which coins are looking better than others and kind of look at kind of our current positions in the pair to pair trades that we're in in the Discord. If you're not already in the Discord, I'll pull the link in the bio, come join the Discord. And we're gonna get updated on that. I know we've had a lot of questions about XCN, XRP, XLM, XDC, um, XTZ, and uh, I wanna make sure we cover that today. So if you haven't already seen the video that I put out earlier, it's the XRP macro analysis when takeoff. So we had already covered XRP under the macro scope. So we're all basically good with that. So we're just going to dive straight into XLM and then go to XCN and so on. And we'll revisit XRP at the end and kind of give my opinion as far as which one is looking the best, including XRP within the other ones that we're going to cover. So if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get updated in real time when we drop these videos, these market updates, newsletters, deep dives. We're going to keep you on top of the game. Exciting times. 2023 is going to be the year that decides the next decade as far as the global markets, but for the crypto markets this year, this could be the one that really takes crypto into the mainstream. And you want to be updated in real time when huge events take place. So hit subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment too. Which coins would you like me to cover as far as uh, a next segment? Energy Web Token, Gala, you let me know in the comments. So let's dive into it. XLM first off, we're on the three week chart. And we're going to kind of zoom in here. So right now for XLM, we have a prepare to buy soon on the three week chart, just like we had covered with the XRP chart. So same similarities there. And just like before, we got a sell now at the top here, sell here. I mean, honestly, the sell warnings when they kind of um, leveled off and you didn't see them really actually hit the, the true top. Sell now is a little late because we're on a higher time frame. But if we go out to a lower time frame, it'll probably get closer to the top there. See, if I'm on a 12 day chart, hit it closer, closer, bottom, closer. So, oh, look at that 12 day chart. So, let's actually start with the 12 day chart for XLM because right now, as we speak, this candle just opened up and we have we're flashing a buy now signal right now. And if we even just maintain the level that where we're at nine cents. But in 11 days, we're going to get this flash and it's going to be a confirmation of a buy now. And as you can see, the sell now that flash here was literally the top May 13 to 2021, right before XLM never saw those prices again. And we still haven't seen those prices, but now we could be at an inverse perspective of we may never see this price for XLM again after these next 12 days. When March rolls around, if we get this buy now signal, we could never come back to nine cents again, judging off of what we've seen here. So now let's, just like we haven't seen you know, this point, or we got very close to it down here, but as you can see, if I put a horizontal line out, we came down and retested a key level, such a key macro level here, as far as that's where we first, and if I hide this, just so we can kind of get a clear look, look at that, resistance. Broke above it, mooned, came back down, support, broke below it, rejection, 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 um, rejection at first. We got above it, support, support, took off. And now we kind of revisited this as our launch pad again. And we got a nice, solid, clean bounce. On top of that, look at this trend line coming down. Look at that. So things are so exciting right now as far as like who like can you can't even imagine where we could be at this point next year. We could, all, we could all be in an island in Thailand uh, at that point. <laughs> but um, right now what we're seeing is a massive falling wedge. And right now we're at the precipice of breaking out of it. Alongside we have the 12 day by now getting ready to flash. So that's a check. And how the Stargate signals work and how you want to match them up to really hit like an overall macro bottom or top especially if we're looking at the high time frames, you want multiple high time frames flashing prepared to buy soons. And then once you start to get a buy now, now you know it's a game time. So if we look at the 10 day prepare to buy soon, right? Let's look at that. So that buy now came in back here, but then the FTX thing happened. So we kind of had one last kind of fake out. Just like here, we had it here and then one last fake out. If we go to the 12 day, I'd say let's start with that. Prepare to buy soon. So check number one. Now let's go to a two week, prepare to buy soons. Three week, prepare to buy soons. Let's go to a monthly. We have a monthly prepare to buy soon. So we have four absolute huge time frames, right? Flashing a prepare to buy soon, which is great news because look, 
when we got our prepare to sell soon here, that was a local top. When we got our prepare to sell soon here, that was close to the overall top, just like right here. So us getting this prepare to buy soon over here is around like nine cents and us still maintaining at nine cents. Likely we're not gonna see nine cents below nine cents. I'm sorry, uh, below these lows here around seven cents for XLM ever again. And that regard, but that depends on any black swans events, anything like that, which there are some potential ones. So that's why you want to subscribe to our page here because later on in the day, we're going to release a potential red alert kind of warning, a foreshadow to what may be coming down the pipeline here imminently. It could happen at any moment, but I'm on red high alert from now until April 1st, as far as a potential event that I've uncovered based off of recent events that I'm going to share with you guys later today in a video so subscribe hit the notification bell let me know in the comments if you're excited for that video so we can get you squared away and prepared well ahead in advance to any potential kind of wrenches thrown in this bull market rally that's about to be on our way but as you can see one month prepare to buy soon three week prepare to buy soon two week prepare to buy soon now we go down to a 12 day we had to prepare to buy soon right but now we're getting the buy now on the lowest of the time frames that we just tracked. So I would say, and go out on a limb here, not financial advice, that XLM within these next 11 days is likely not going to be at nine cents. I would not be surprised to see it over 10 cents, maybe at 11 cents or even 12 cents. I think we might have a strong candle that closes at the end of when this candle closes, which will then spill over into the two week chart and we could likely get the two week buy now signal in six days here. So all we're waiting for for that is a TSI cross up, MACD's already crossed up and the stock RSI is already crossed up. So I've we've been tracking this same chart and you can go back to the December videos we were putting out. Um, and we we're saying, guys, it's time to get excited here. These things are starting to happen. We're getting close, we're getting close. And now we're even closer than ever to really put in the nail in that coffin. So the two week chart, looking extremely well 12 day chart about a flash of buy now in 11 days we have the tsi crossing up i mean the last time we saw the tsi cross up and let me hide this macd for a sec was back here boom it was right at may may 12th time frame which was literally at the top so us now crossing up on the tsi even just looking at that for the first time since crossing down at the top over there it's just time to get excited, man. I don't know what else to say. I, I wouldn't be so scared right now and so like bear market trauma. I'd start getting really excited and optimistic about the future here. So we have this falling wedge and we, we could be confirming a breakout. We have the buy nows. We have higher time frames. Two week chart ready to cross and flash a buy now. Three week chart getting closer than ever as well too. This closes in six days, this candle. We have a stock RSI cross up. The TSI and the MACD are very close to crossing up as well, too. All it's going to take is if XLM can get up to the 11 cent, 11 and a half cent range, or even 12 cents even better, we're most definitely going to get these higher time frame buy now signals, which could spell a, a move up for XLM to 18 cents, 20 cents. It could bring us up to this next area of kind of resistance that we need to flip here right there around 17 cents where we support, 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 broke off from it, resistance, resistance got above, support, support, broke off. I would say that's our next target for XLM after taking out this area right here. Yeah, right here around 12 and a half cents. So I would say we're gonna test 12 and a half cents. Then if we break above there, now we got 17 cents and then we must hold this bottom here. You don't wanna see that break down. So that's what I'm seeing for XLM. It's looking very, very nice. Then if I throw on the bonus indicator and we look at the 12 day chart with that, yeah. So if we were to clear that 18 cent, 18 and a half cent, we're getting up and over all these moving averages, which is a huge positive sign. That's, we might go into a huge kind of move if that were to be the case, if we were to get above there. A lot of resistance up there. I think we're gonna test up there, but the key is breaking above and holding out support. Now let's go to XCN, the question on everybody's mind, right? Even my mind. <laughs> so I'm looking at chain, but I'm looking at it from a different perspective now. And I'll tell you how in a sec. Let me hide this and let me show you that I'm on the chain 
tether chart KuCoin. And the reason why I'm on this one is because there's more price action history than being on the chain to Coinbase chart. So this is a way we can kind of look at it a little differently. Then if I put on this log chart, right, you can see this long wick back here. And where we're at currently, like we're halfway there on the log chart. But if I took the log chart off, this gave me a lot of reassurance and a lot of confidence that we're closer. We're at, I believe, at the bottom here. Maybe there's a fake out breakdown. And then we actually, that's the, the juice that gets us to skyrocket. But now, since I'm not on the log chart, we can kind of see, hey, we've already kind of retested this wick down here. Very close to it. I mean, it is another, you know, that is a big move down even just from here to here. That's like 80, 75%. But like usually what you see is when you have like a long wick, you'll come back and then you immediately get bought back from it. So a long wick immediately get back bought back from it. You usually kind of have a slow ride back down. You never really test right down to the bottom of the wick, but maybe like halfway or kind of three fourths of the way. And since we've been kind of going sideways here for so long, I mean, I'm on the five day chart. We're talking since the January 1st, it's been 45 days of just sideways price action. I believe the bottom's in. And you can even see that we had the prepare, bunch of prepare to buy soons. All we're waiting for is just a cross up on the stock RSI and the MAC in the TSI. We already have the MACD turning green. We just really need that stock RSI to get a little heartbeat in it, rise up, have an uptick, and we know it's on. Same with the TSI. So a break above 0 0.0125, I believe, will get us catapulting right up there. And I I believe we're going to, just like how fast we went down, I believe that's how fast we're going to recover. And that's about a 3x. And fundamentally, I'm cool with holding chain because of their fundamental use case, their partners. It's not like I think it's a scam coin. I'm just trying to go pair to pair real quick and get out of it. I definitely went deep into chain with some of my XRP, some of my XLM. Because I do believe that it will outperform them in the short term here. And then once it does that 3x move, I can take maybe 70% of the chain, throw it back into the XRP, the XLM that I used initially to swap it with. Now I have 30% of the chain that I bought, just house money. It's free because I recouped all my XRP, XLM from that pair to pair swap. And now everything left over that I gained from that move is all going to stay in chain for long term holding. So that's how I'm going to play it. But as you can see, we're also tracking this blue line. This is our bearish momentum. We broke down and we broke down. We like to see that. So we want to see this cross down through the 50 line and the pink have an uptick. But this is looking very um, promising here. So let's go to the three day chart because the three day chart, this is what we're talking about as far as like if you want to find the holy grail, the holy grail of the signals when you see. So let's say. Well, we have one day prepared to buy soons, right? Let's just start with that. So starting December 15th, one day prepared to buy soons and then prepared to buy soons, right? Same time frame, And then prepared to buy soons on the three day, four day prepared to buy soons, five day, six day, 10 day, not on the 10 day, but let's check the 12 day. Nope, let's check the weekly. Not on the weekly. But as you can see, we have one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day. All those are flashing prepared to buy soons. Once that happens, we go down to the lowest time frame that we're tracking and we set, we see if a buy now flash and boom, right here it flashed, boom, right there. Now let's see if the two day flash, boom, it flashed right there. So now we're getting very, very close for the three day buy now to flash. We have the stock RSI already crossed up, MACD's in the green and the TSI is about to cross for the first time in a very long time. So like we're going to see something happen with chain here in the next three days, because look at the, all the past times that chain was about to cross boom. It said, Nope. And it didn't cross. And it was a rejection back down. And then it tried to do it here. Boop. Nope. Rejection back down. And now we're about to do it again. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. You think it's going to be a fake out and we're going to just cross back down and tank 80% or do you think we're going to cross here and just absolutely rock it up? personally planning for this scenario. So great signs as far as that goes. So in two days and three hours, we're likely going to see something big happen with chain. It could be, but 
be on alert because we could have like a fake breakdown, get a lot of liquidity and then pop us right back up. So that's why for this one, I'm just hodling it through because it is a low liquidity coin, but it does have good backers. It's on Coinbase. So I think it's just a flood of money one day is just going to roll into it and it's just going to spike it up. But any short term movement, I'm not going to get caught getting fancy with that. I know yeah. based off of what I'm seeing here and I'm convicted on that we're going to probably see a pop up like that. Now, if I go to the five day chart and we throw in the bonus indicator, I'm sorry, let me go back down to the three day. So the three days right here, this bottom of the void lines is serving as a good um, area for some support. But actually I wanna go to the one day chart is what I really was looking at because we're now coiled tight again, very tight. So right here, I'm. If we do fall, I'm expecting some support to come in around 0 0.01030. And then for us to really need to fly here, we need to get above that 0 0.0125. So we're still in that range. But what I'm looking at now is a 12 hour chart. And what I wanna see is for us to know we're gonna get this move, this stock RSI, like we're prime right now. We're in the perfect moment for this to take place. The stock RSI is getting ready to cross up. Pink has an uptick. It wants to come up. The blue looks like it wants to come down. The RSI double bottom here. And then the TSI is looking ready to cross and the MACD is looking ready to flip green. We do have a good green volume spike here and we do have a good green candle trying to kind of reclaim these levels here. And we have this downward sloping resistance like this. Oh, actually now we can go to the Coinbase chart because I think I already have it drawn. Yep, right here. So now I'm gonna put it back on log scale and we're gonna gonna come up here. And if I were to go, I'm on the four day chart for chain and we're already starting to see a stock RSI cross up. We're getting close. Now let me check the three day. Let me delete these drawings. Let's pull it up here. And we're getting very close to crossing up on that by now for the TSI. So Coinbase chart gives us a little different look here. But as you can see, if I go to the, the 12 hour chart, very close for this to happening. And then we have the ribbon right here coinciding with these highs. So that's why I'm saying 0 0.0125. We take that out. We could be coming up to this 200 moving average here, which at current prices is like 270% move up here. And it would happen very quickly. I'm telling you, it's going to happen quick. All of a sudden, we're going to wake up. We're going to look and we're going to see like, oh, change is mooned. And then at that point, we're going to make a quick move back into some of these coins, XRP, XLM. So that's what I'm seeing there. And then if we go to the four hour chart, another thing I noticed is this 200 moving average, if I had these signals, so this 200 moving average has served as an area of like rejection every single time down this downtrend. So you can see um, rejection, 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 rejection. We didn't even get close to it there. But now, now we, we're in the perfect kind of scenario for this kind of level off here, us break above, maybe a quick retest support. And now it's clear skies. We took out that key resistance that was pushing us down this whole entire time here. Look how kind of accurate the four hour moving average, the 200 moving average serves as a resistance down this whole way here. So yeah, now let's go to the three hour and it kind of gets a little closer and you can see it a little better. Yeah, like this 200 moving average is sitting right at that, what we've been saying, the 0 0.012. 0 0.0125 and if we just need to break above it hold that support and then we're we're geared up to fly for sure that's what i'm watching i'm also watching on coinmarketcap.com to see if volume is running through on it so another thing i do is i come to here to kind of get comp confirmation that hey it could be getting ready to go here and this i like what i'm seeing here as far as we have the volume up 22 percent i would like to see that in the hundred percent maybe even a thousand percent that's when we know hey it's making its move but they rebranded to onyx coin and it looks like they're doing a five billion token burn so i feel like all the stars are aligned for chain to have its run and have its move so i'm liking chain and before i forget if you haven't already joined the discord come join it because Things are gearing up. We want to make sure that you're squared away and ready for any potential moves that are about to happen here. Now's the time for sure. Now's the time to get hooked up with some of these indicators that I'm showing you right now. And now's the time to get yourself squared away in the Discord for all these automated alerts, for all these signals. Like when chain flashes that three day buy now, we're going to know immediately. It's going to be in our change signal chat right here. And we're going to know what to do. So if you want to know what to do as well too, click the link in the bio, come join the Discord and say, hey, hook me up. 
give me that white glove. I want those signals and we'll, we'll make sure we take care of you. So also don't forget to watch the XRP macro analysis video. I'll link that in the description as well too, for you guys to watch after this, but that's what I'm watching for chain. Now let's go into XDC. So we're going to go on the th three week chart. Cause this is another one we've been tracking the three week chart for XDC. We said, Hey, we have a bunch of three day, three week prepared to buy soon. We have three on the three week. And now we're, we have a stock RSI cross up the TSI getting close to crossing and the MACD is currently in. It's looking good for XTC to get a three week buy now soon. If we can kind of maintain and get above three cents would pretty much seal the deal on that. If we can get above three cents and hold there, it would look very good for XTC. The three week sell now has nailed this top up here. Yeah. Ever since that point, we've been down 80%, 80%. Imagine that. So now if we go down to the two week chart, we have a prepare to buy soon here. So we have a three week prepare to buy soon, a two week prepare to buy soon. We have the stock RSI cross up, MACD cross up, the TSI is crossing. So in six days, we're gonna get a two week buy now on XDC, but only if we can maintain where we're at right now or preferably get above three cents for sure. Then if I go to the 12 day, we already got a 12 day buy now signal, I think 24 days ago or 12, 15 days ago. So this is a good sign as well too. We're showing early signs that XDC is kind of showing some strength in the market. So that is a good sign. Now let's go to three week and that's what we're waiting for as well too. Let me check the monthly. No monthly prepared to buy soon, but we are starting to find an uptick for the stock RSI and the momentum starting to gear up. So I like all these coins so far, like the X coins are looking like they want to extremely outperform. Let me just say that. Even this trend line, so we saw rejection, got above support, support, came back down and we're hanging out on it right now. All looking well. Let me go to the 10 day chart. And for the first time, well, we have a 10 day buy now, but also look at this uh, market structure band. We had green, we flipped from green to red, bear market. And now we just flip from red to green. So everything that I'm saying about bull markets here, it's bad, all this stuff. It's not like moon boy stuff. It's really to kind of show you that like what I'm seeing here, as far as all these things that were flashing when the bull market top was in, now is flashing with the bear market bottom being in. So I want to go based off of that and off of those previous facts. And until new data comes in every day, this market's moving. So until new data comes in, I'll change the tune. But for now, the message remains the same. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it at that. I mean, that's a lot. We got XRP, XLM, XCN, and uh, XDC. I'll actually revisit XRP real quick, but there also is that specific video that I'll link in the bio here. We'll save XCH, XYO, and XDZ for the next video coming out tomorrow. If you like that, if you want me to cover another coin with that as well too that I missed, leave that in the comments. But going back to XRP, we're waiting for that three week prepare to buy soon. We have the stock our side cross, MACD is getting close, TSI is getting close. We have six days for this, six days. So. We could see an announcement. We could see a catalyst. We could see a wrench thrown. And like with all this stuff getting ready to flash, you know, we've seen multiple times before stuff getting ready to flash. And then all of a sudden, oh, here's a quick little wrench. So we need to be on high alert for the next six days here. And I'm going to release tonight my thoughts as far as a potential black swan or out of the nowhere kind of event that could happen to throw a wrench in the plan. So if you want to hear about that, subscribe hit the notification bell. I'm going to release that later tonight. You want to get updated right away with that because um, definitely on high alert. So XRP, XLM, XCN, XCC look extremely good. I, I believe they're going to be outperformers in the next bull run and I'm going to hold all of them. I'm going to hold all of them. That's the thing. You want to have long-term bags in the blue chip coins. You want to be spread out into those because if you think, oh, well, XCN is going to go do more than XRP, XLM, and it doesn't, and you you know you're gonna get emotional, and then all of a sudden you go back into XRP XLM, and then the trade actually plays out, and then you miss out. So you want to stay the course. You still want to have exposure to all of them, but there's times where you want to convert from one to another when one gets a little overextended. You know the the equilibrium, the balance, you know, always comes back into place. So if you like what you're hearing, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video and in the Discord link in the bio. So I'll see you over there.